야 유튜브 우리 이제 라우지 퀄리티 비디오 You cannot see writing on wall You can see it here You cannot see it on YouTube Yeah I will try to fix But uh, if you cannot see it I will send you a copy of video directly This good quality on camera Bad quality on YouTube What's his problem? So Let's go back to the lecture I saw your real world examples of groups Next question is What is uh, How do we formalize it? How do we make it mathematical? For example, calculus We have real world example of continuity For example, an incontin discontinuity with stairs How do we make continuity uh, rigorous? We talk about uh, epsilon deltas or logic, when we talk about recursiveness, how do we make that definition or a rigorous? Or enumerable, counting it, how do we make that definition rigorous? Or well, groups, we will make this definition rigorous. What is a group? It is a pair, two things. Two things that satisfy a bunch of properties. So, a group is two. It is a non-empty set, G. So a group is two things. A pair, G, comma, star. The star is an operator. It is a function. It takes two arguments and spits out uh, something in G. So, can you see this? You can see it here. You have to make it stop. So G is a set. But and G is non-empty. So, for example, uh, consider this is G equals one, two, three. That's a set. That's a set. Absolutely. Or G equals the real numbers. That's a set. So G is a set. And a star, binary operator, means you take two elements and it's still in the same set. Take two elements from G. Spit out element in G. So, for example, uh, G. So it takes for, so for any x comma y in G. X star y is in G. So an example of a binary operator would be addition under the integers. So, so example. 2 comma 3 is in C. Right? 2 comma 3 is in C. 2 plus 3 equals 5 is in C. Star plus is our binary operator. We are in the integers. An example of something that's not a binary operator. Division in the integers. 2 comma 3 is in C. But 2 divided by 3 is not an integer. Bad. So that is a binary operator. Two takes two things in G and spits out another thing in G. Multiplication in the reals are integers. So a group has to fulfill three properties. First property: we have to have identity position, a starting point, always, always. We call, and we call this an element. So first one, there exists a an element. No, don't call. There exists an element e in G, such that for any x, any element in G x star e equals e star x equals x. It is element that when you put it in the operator, it does nothing, keeps you the same one. So for example, what is identity in, multi in real numbers under addition? It will be zero. So for example, x plus zero equals zero plus x equals x. Under plus, under plus. 
Another example, multiplication. The identity here is multiplying by one. So x times one equals one times x equals x for any x. So that so there exists a an element e which we call identity. That's the first property. Oops. Secondly, for everything I do, there must be a way to undo it. So we call this existence of inverses. So for any, for any operation I do, for any x in g, there is a way to undo it to get back to identity. There is an x inverse in G, such that x times x inverse equals x inverse times x equals e. So for example, rotate, invert it to get back. So for example, uh, one, or let's say multiple, so x, so look at three in R. And we're looking at r minus 0. To get back to 1 and the multiplication, multiply it by 1 third. Very simple. So, I'm just going to write. So that's, so that's the second property. The property. We like things to be associative. Remember, some things are not associative. Logic is not associative. Implication in logic, not associative. Do not say everything is associative, or else I put you in cage with panda, and panda eats you. Yeah. So, three. For x, y, z in g, x, y, z equals uh, x, y, z. Your induction to prove you can, uh, it does not matter the order for, for n. You can make this instead of just for three, for n elements. So those are three properties we need. And also remember, non-empty set G, binary operator. Two elements multiplied together in same group gives you another one in same group. Okay, next step. So we talk. So I will do a quick example of something that's actually easy. And the thing that is not as easy is we just took number theory, right? In number theory, we have uh, the group. Which group? I will teach you. This will be on the homework. I want you to generalize this. Talk more about it. Consider, remember, the relatively prime group, the relatively prime elements. The set. Oh. It's 8.30 again? Okay, I pause again.